Dennis Skinner. Does the Prime Minister recall that at the time after he became Prime Minister under the Coalition, and at the time when he was dividing the nation between strivers and scroungers, I asked him a very important question about the windfall he received when he wrote off the mortgage of the premises in Notting Hill and I said to him he didn't write off the mortgage of the one the taxpayers were helping to pay for at Oxford. I didn't receive a proper answer then. Maybe Dodgy Dave will answer it now. And by the way, Order, order, I, order, order. I must ask the honourable gentleman, order. I don't require any assistance from some junior minister. <laughs> absurd proposition. I invite, order, I invite the honourable gentleman to withdraw that adjective that he used a moment ago. He's perfectly, order, he's perfectly capable of asking his question without using that word. It is up to him, but if he doesn't wish to withdraw it, I can't reasonably ask the Prime Minister to answer the question. All he has to do is withdraw that word and think of another. <laughs> Sorry? Sorry? <laughs> I think he knows the word beginning with D and ending in Y that he inappropriately used. Davy. Davy or Davy. <laughs> withdraw. I know. I know what you're saying. Very simple. Withdraw. This man has done more to divide this nation than anybody else. He's looked after his own pocket. I still refer to him as Dodgy Dave. Do what you like. Order, 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 order. I'm sorry, I must ask the honourable gentleman to withdraw the work. Very well. Very well. Under the power given to me by standing order number 43, I order the honourable member to withdraw immediately from the House for the remainder of this day's sitting. He's used to this. Very well. Needless to say, no reply is required to that. 